I need some new coasters for my new office. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I make coasters on my old hard drive. So as you know, I have a new office. And one thing I hate is when you get those little circular watermarks from glasses or cans when you're placing them on your desk. So what I want to do is I want to show you a very old technique that a good friend of mine showed me on how to make coasters from old hard drives. Before we get into stripping down the hard drive, let me just answer some personal questions that I've been sent. I am okay. I've taken a break from social media because I'm dealing with some personal issues that's preventing me from doing YouTube at a full-time level. So I'm back at doing it part-time for now. Hopefully, as the months go on, I can ramp up and go back to being full-time on YouTube. But for now, it's going to be about one video a week on various different subjects. Right now, I want to show you how I'm going to deal with this problem. Now, of course, I can go down the shops and buy a coaster, but that's boring. Who wants to do that? Now, this channel is all about photography. It's a little bit of a tech channel as well when it comes to computers. So we want to keep that in the theme of photography and tech stuff. Now, unfortunately, I have nothing in here that I can use photography-wise as a coaster. Most of my uh, old lenses are being used as lens pots behind me. But what we do have is an old hard drive. So I'm going to show you how to strip down this hard drive, take out the platters and use them as coasters for any type of drink that you have on your desk. Water's okay, Coke stains a lot, so we don't want that. So I'm going to grab my Amazon Basics screwdriver set. I will link this in the description if you want one. They are very good. Okay, and what we want to do is strip out the hard drive. And at the same time, I'm also going to strip out the circuit boards that, that we can add it to our pile of circuit boards. Check out this video where I did a circuit city. I keep all the circuit boards that I find around, just add them to a pile. That way we can photograph them in the future. We're going to undo these screws. And again, I do keep most of the screws in that as well because they do make interesting subjects for macro photography. While we're on the subject, as I've already stated that um, I'm not going to be able to get outside and do many videos this year because of the change in my personal circumstances. Again, I am a house husband. I've got four kids. I've got two dogs. The house needs looking after. The kids need looking after. The dogs are a pain in the ass. So it does make it hard for me to get out and do video. I can still get outside and do photography. So it's not going to affect any reviews of lenses because I can still go out and do that. It's just that the filming part of it is what is the, uh, the hard part, okay? So I might reclassify myself as a studio-based macro photographer. Now, anyone who's following me for my outdoor work, don't unsubscribe because they will be coming back. It's just going to take some time. Anyway, we need to get this label off. Often there's a screw underneath the label somewhere. See there? I don't know if you can see it on the overhead, but you can see there, there's a little indent. There's a screw underneath there, but we need to get out. Hopefully that will pop off. There we go. This is a dead hard drive. There is no information on this hard drive. It's completely dead. I would not do this to um, a hard drive that's working. No point. However, if you've got a hard drive you want to dispose of and it's got data on it, this could be an idea because once I've stripped this out and start placing Coke cans and glasses on top of the actual hard disk, you ain't going to get much data off that disk. So let's undo this part here. So what you're looking here is if this little silver disc, that is your actual hard drive. That's where your data is stored. This part here is the head. That's what reads the data off the hard drive. It goes back and forward while this spins around. Okay. So we have to get that out. And it could be on the underside here. Let's take off the circuit board. If anyone is wondering, it is hot as hell in this room. It's one of the hottest days of the year. I'd have all my video lights on. It is hot, I can tell you that. Right, let's have a look here. Take that off. That's like a very strong magnet. That might come in handy in the future on a future video. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And while we're on the subject of just catching up, if you have any suggestions for videos, do let me know, okay? Because I am on the lookout for different ideas, different videos than what I've done previously. Preferably ones that don't cost any money to produce. 
because right now YouTube doesn't really earn me much money I'll be honest with you while we're talking about that subject if you are loving the channel like the content there is a donate button in the description that you can help the channel out by donating some money if you wish to you do not have to okay. so we've been able to push that out the way now so we can get to the platters and this is a let's have a look what is this this is a one terabyte hard drive and again for anybody who missed it it is a dead hard drive okay so ordinarily it would have gone into a landfill or a recycle center whereas what i'm doing here now is i'm recycling this old hard drive to make use of it in my new pocket i'm just going to bring this coke over pop it just there yeah put it yeah let's put it there i just want to show you the issue that we have pop this off there he goes see all these little bits we can use all this in um in macro photography okay it's almost out and there we go there is our hard drive platter so i'm not going to bore you with getting the other one out okay but basically if you look here now you see there here we have this little ring of water that is what we are trying to avoid so now i can put my coaster down and place my can on my coaster it's a really neat way of doing it plus it, it stays in the theme of uh, technology you know, photography and technology there you go it's a very simple and quick operation to get the coasters out of the hard drive and then i can just put my uh, my drinks on there and it's not going to stain the deck so there you go if you've got a old hard drive you don't know what to do with it and you're tech incentric you like your technology you can strip it out and use your old hard drive platters as a coaster for your cup of coffee tea or cold drink i hope you found that useful again if you have any suggestions for future videos let me know in the comments below i will be trying to get back to at least one video a week in the future but until then my name's Stuart wood and i'll see you on the next video test the audio audio test 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 the audio test is good I can't get the son of a bitch out. That's okay. I need some bloopers anyway, because I made no mistake on this one. Strip it out and use your old hard drive platters as a 